I'm Jessica Luther, your realtor and host of the American Dream. Welcome to this special segment highlighting the areas of Casey and West Columbia, South Carolina, located just across the bridge from Columbia, South Carolina. At the heart of this growing community sits Savage Craft Ale Works. Let's go check it out. I am here with Brandon Evans, the head brewer of Savage Craft Ale Works. And Brandon, tell me a little bit about the history of this building and the name Savage Craft. So there is a lot of history in this building over the course of the building being here. It's been town hall, fire department, all sorts of fun stuff. The tables that we're actually sitting at are the old fire doors. Oh, so cool. we just had them epoxied over. So, you know, keeping as much of the history in the building as we could. Savage Craft actually comes from, we are a veteran owned brewery. The Savage part kind of comes from when they were out of country Country, they would always be like, you know, we're just a bunch of savages running around doing our craft. And so that was terminology that they'd always used. And so when they were ready to build something, they wanted to pepper all that in, you know. Right. Um, same thing with our beer names. A lot of times you'll notice odes to some military terminology. The Galaxy Banger, Galaxy is the type of hop, but the banger is, you know, flashbangs and stuff like that that they would use. So you mentioned downstairs and upstairs. So mm -hmm. we're sitting downstairs, downstairs in the main bar. Right, right. Tell me about the other spaces that you have here at Savage Craft. Yes, ma'am. So it starts downstairs. You walk in through the beer garden, or at least most people do. And so it's a huge outdoor space with turf so we can have dogs, we can have kids, we can have all the fun stuff that everybody's looking for nowadays. The rooftop is a very unique experience. It's also 21 and up. That way, if you come here and you're not wanting to hang out with everybody's kids, you don't have to. You can always right. go upstairs. We actually do have a second floor and we call it the Mooneyham Room. It is a private event space, but during bigger events such as our Oktoberfest, our anniversaries, St. Pat's, things like that, we will open that room up to the general public as well. So tell me a little bit about the brewing of the beers. How is that unique for Savage Craft? We built into our brew house a decoction loop, which is something that's very unique. Essentially, that allows us to move the mash over to the boil kettle bring it up to a near boil and it allows malleard reactions but basically browning of that kind of like you know um, putting something on the stove and like getting a nice sear that type of thing so it increases the richness and things like that of the beer the uh, tall tank behind us here is actually our grain silo. 50,000 pounds of grain. That's kind of the base of most of our beers. And that's where we get the sugar from to get the alcohol for the beer. Okay. Um, and then we have a mill room where we'll add specialty malts, that kind of thing. Up the stairs on the right is our mash lauder. In the middle will be our boil kettle. And then on the left is the whirlpool. The smaller system downstairs is a five barrel system that we had when we originally started. But the bigger system upstairs is uh, 15 barrels, which is roughly 500 gallons of beer at a time. So when we do our bigger batches that go into it, we have 30 barrel fermenter, so we'll do a double batch. So it's just uh, two, okay. two brew days congruent with each other. And then we'll have about a thousand gallons of beer in about seven to 10 days. Wow, I'm getting thirsty. Brandon, thank you so much. I loved learning more about Savage Craft Ale Works, and thanks for sharing with us today. Absolutely, thank you. Real estate in the Casey West Columbia areas is booming, especially in the community called The Avenues. For an excellent example of properties there, let's go visit my client's beautifully renovated bungalow. This charming home features three bedrooms, one bathroom, and a welcoming porch perfect for sipping Savage Craft Ale. Like many homes in the avenues, the owner has made some beautiful updates to this historic home. The gorgeous kitchen and putting green in the backyard make this one especially unique. Thank you for joining me in West Columbia, South Carolina. From the craft beer scene at Savage Craft Ale Works to this beautiful Riverwalk Park, it's quickly becoming the place to be. Until next time, I'm Jessica Luther, selling the American Dream.